Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my yearly favourites. So all of my favourite products from this year 2017 and I can't believe it's nearly the end of 2017 already. I'm so excited for Christmas and New Year. I've also been very rubbish at filming monthly favourites which I did say I wanted to keep up with so I've had to film a yearly favourite. So all the beauty, makeup, skincare, everything that I've loved over 2017 I'm going to be sharing all of those with you today. This might be quite a long video so I do apologise in advance. I've got two boxes of makeup down here. I have split them up into drugstore and high end. So yeah, if you want to see all of the beauty products that I've loved over 2017 then please keep watching. So the way that I've picked out my favourites is I've gone through my drawers and everything the past couple of weeks and I've all set the I can't get my words out, we've only just started. I've set out to the side all the products which I think I've used most over 2017 and which have been new to me as well over 2017. The reason why I haven't been doing monthly favourites is because I'm so rubbish at buying new things and I just don't think that I try that many new products to do a monthly favourite. So I think I did mention before in a previous video, I think I'm going to try and do like a seasonal favourite, so a spring, summer, autumn and winter favourites. Maybe that will work better for me. I'm just rubbish at trying new things. I just like to stick to what I find that I like. So yeah, I'm going to start with high end first. I don't know why, that box is just sitting in front of me, so let's get into them. So kicking off with the more high end products, the first two which have made it into my favourites is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and Primer. I'm not really much of a primer person to be honest, I've got quite dry skin, a lot of primers I don't really find it makes a difference but I think this one is really really pretty. It just gives a really nice like pretty glow to the skin, it makes my skin look really fresh. I could easily just wear this on its own over the top of my skincare, I just really really like it as a primer. It also works really nice with all my other foundations as well because I have been trying this out quite a lot recently and yeah I just really really like it. I can't say whether it makes a huge difference to how my foundation wears throughout the day because I don't always wear a primer anyway so to be honest I don't really notice that much difference but I just really like the look that it gives to my skin like nice and glowy but without looking like greasy it's really really nice. The foundation I've used a lot in tutorials recently and with it being more of a matte foundation and I've got more dry skin, this is surprisingly really, really comfortable and it just gives a really nice flawless, like, skin look to your skin, if you get what I mean. It is a nice coverage but without looking too heavy and too cakey. I always get a little bit nervous buying more expensive foundations because I've got a lot of very affordable ones which I do really love. But this I don't think was too high a price, I think the foundation was like £26 which isn't a lot but it is sort of more on the high end side. But yeah it's a really really nice foundation and a primer as well, those two have to go into my yearly favourite. Next is a brand in general and that is Coco Lashes. These again aren't super super high end but they are a little bit more expensive than ones you would find in the drugstore I think but honestly not that much, I think they're like £10 or £11 that's it. But I absolutely have been loving Coco Lashes recently. I've got the Queen Bee ones on today. These are the first ones that I've tried. I only really heard of Coco Lashes from watching Luster Looks because she wears Queen Bees all the time and look amazing on her. So Queen Bees are the first ones that I tried out and I've got those on today. And then I recently got sent a few more from Full Size Lashes. .co.uk which is where I always buy my falsies from. They also stock these as well so they sent me a few more Dashing, Goddess and more. and I've worn them all. They look absolutely stunning. I just love that they are more of like a dramatic lash but they're so comfortable. They're so comfy like they're not heavy at all for a more like thicker more dramatic lash. They're so comfortable. I can wear these all day and I wouldn't even notice. They don't weigh down your eyes or anything like that and they've got so many different styles and they are sort of the only brand that I'm wearing at the moment. So Coco Lashes, you have to try those out. So my favourite highlighter from 2017 is the Laura Gallic Gilded Honey. I just find that I pick this up all the time. I wear it all the time. I've got a box of highlighters in my drawer. When I do my makeup, I always seem to pick this one up. It's just the nicest, prettiest, like, gold shade. And to be honest, I can wear this when I'm more fairer skinned and over the summer when I am more tanned as well. It's just absolutely beautiful. I know it's not a new product, people have hyped on about this for so long, but I've only sort of tried it out this year, I think. And more recently, this is all I've really been wearing. 
So yeah, Laura Gala Gildy 20. If you haven't got it, then where have you been? This next product is I've had for so long now, but I wear it all the time and people always comment on it. And that is the Midnight Cowboy Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. So my perfect night out makeup is like gold eyes, winged eyeliner, and glitter as well. And I always wear this glitter and everybody always comments on it like, oh, what's that glitter that you wear? And I'm like, it's the glitter liner that I always use. I have just absolutely love this. There are dupes as well. I'm gonna talk about it later in the video. I've had this probably over a year now. I've probably mentioned it in last year's favorites, knowing me, especially on a night out when I can't risk something happening or going wrong with my makeup because I'm always running late. And knowing me, I try to use glitter and get it everywhere. So these are just such a easy and simple way to like add glitter without the mess. This shade is my ultimate favourite. It's like a silvery gold, perfect for Christmas. I'm probably gonna wear this on Christmas day. I do definitely wanna try out a few more shades as well. They just add such an amazing effect. They're so versatile as well, and they just look so pretty. Everything is better with glitter. You always need glitter. Moving on to some skincare now. I'm not the best at skincare, but I have been using a couple of products, which I really, really like. The first one is the La Roche-Posay, can't pronounce that word there. It's the Intense Soothing Fluid for the face and eyes. This one is actually my second bottle now. I started using this in August time because I took it on holiday with me. I hadn't tried it before, but I absolutely love it. I have very dry, very sensitive skin, and I also get a lot of eczema on my skin as well, which is very annoying. And if you suffer with sensitive skin, and especially eczema as well, you will know, that it is really hard to find skincare products which say they're suitable for sensitive skin but they still irritate and flare up my eczema and it's just so annoying and it does definitely put me off trying new skincare and exploring different brands and spending money on it as well because if it doesn't work for my skin I don't feel like I can take it back and a lot of time skincare is quite expensive but this I absolutely love. It's such a lightweight consistency and soothing I think is the perfect name for it because it absolutely does do what it says. It sort of absorbs straight away but you can still sort of feel the hydration on your skin. I do really like that it is white, white light, lightweight because it doesn't like move around especially at night. If I wear a heavy cream it gets into my eyes and then it hurts my eyes and I just don't like it. Whereas this is super hydrating, really nice. It is definitely soothing. I've used it over my eczema and it's really nice. I use this as my eye cream as well. I've chucked out all my other eye creams and this is all that I use. It feels so nice and smooth around the eyes and it doesn't get into your eyes or feel heavy or feel like it's gonna move around. But I just absolutely love it. I bought it for my mom as well. She's got super sensitive skin and she absolutely loves this. So this, just on its own, is my only skincare routine for day and night time. But if you do have sensitive skin, I definitely recommend trying that one. So one of my really good friends a few months ago paid for me to have a facial using Dermalogica products. I do really need to go back because I did love everything that she used on my skin. The one product which I really wanted to try out was a cleanser because I've never found a cleanser which I really liked and I know that using soap all the time was really bad for my skin. So I purchased the Ultra Calming Cleanser and it's absolutely amazing. I never use soap on my face anymore, I only use this. I love it because it's so nice on my skin. Again, it doesn't irritate any of my eczema or my eyes or anything like that. I use it in the morning to wash my face when I've got nothing on and my skin feels so nice and fresh. And then I also use it as well to take makeup off and it works really, really well. It's just so nice and gentle. Other cleansers which I've used, especially to take my makeup off, as soon as they touch my face, my eyes just start burning. Whereas this is just really, really nice. I absolutely love it. There's so much in this bottle as well. How much is in here? 250 mils. And it's lasting me so long as well. I was gonna say I will do an updated skincare routine, but to be honest, they're the only two things now that I actually use, so... I think it would be quite a short video. So the last two products from my more high-end side are a shampoo and conditioner, and that is the Label M Honey and Oat Shampoo. That's the shampoo, and that one is the conditioner. I actually got these from the salon that I go to because I've struggled so much again finding shampoos. I think that my scalp is just as crazy as my actual skin. The other thing that was only concerning me apart from my scalp and my hair being super dry, was the fact that I do have like ombre at the bottom of my hair now. So I really wanted to try and keep the vibrancy of that color like as much as I could. 
and to stop it fading I wanted it to like be fresh and vibrant all the time so she told me to buy these and I have these are the label M honey and oats shampoo and conditioner and honestly if you have coloured hair or if you have like really dry hair I would definitely recommend these since using these I would say that I've used them both together for probably about three months now and my scalp hasn't been sensitive, it hasn't been dry, I haven't had dandruff or anything like that and it's so strange because nothing else for like years is, I've always had really dry scalp, I've always had dandruff and it's always got like really irritated which sounds gross but it's true <laughs> and honestly using these i just haven't had it ever since and it's so strange like some other shampoos i have noticed the difference like straight away but then it comes back like after a few months but i've used these for like must be over three months now and i'm still going strong my hair is so nice the color at the bottom is like so vibrant because i have got like gingery red hair Obviously, it's easier for the blonde at the bottom to fade, but it stayed so vibrant. My actual hair is not dry. It's so nice and soft. My scalp is, like, really nourished. Like, honestly, they're just amazing shampoo and conditioners. I'm never going to stop using these now, and yes, they do smell incredible. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend those. So, they are all of my high-end products. My legs are literally going dead. I'll leave everything written down in the description box as well if you've missed something or you want to know the name of something again. So I'll move on to drugstore now. I don't feel like I've got as many drugstore products even though I probably use more drugstore products than high end. I'm going to start with a couple of eyeshadow palettes which I think are probably my favourite palettes that I've bought this year. The first one is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. This is so incredibly inexpensive and all of the shadows are so pretty. I think I did a first impressions and review on this. If I did, if I, I can't get my words out at all today. If I did, then I'll leave the video down in the description box. If I've done a review or anything, like first impressions on any of these products, I'll also leave those videos either up in one of the cards or down in the description box so you can go and watch them. But the colours in this palette are just so pretty. The highlights at the bottom are some of my absolute favourites. And what really does draw me to palettes is, especially when there's a lot of different shades, is that I'm definitely going to wear each one of those shades. I will never buy a palette if I don't think I'm going to wear every single shade. I've definitely worn every single shade out of here. They're all really nice and pigmented. The shimmery ones are my favourites because they're so creamy and shimmery. So... You know me and my shimmers and glitters. But yeah, it's just a really, really nice palette for every day and for night time as well. There aren't any super, super dark shades in here, which I think makes it like pretty wearable for everyone because not everybody wants a really dark, smoky eye all the time. And there's some really pretty shades in here for every day as well. And it also has a little mirror as well. So that is one of my favourite palettes from this year. I wear that all the time. The next one, of course you can probably guess which one it is, it's the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I've used this in so many videos, again I did a first impressions and review. It's gotten a little bit more messy over the months of me using it but again it's just an amazing palette with so many shades in and all that I know I'm going to wear as well. I haven't gotten into using the greens at the bottom yet, I think I might do a green eyeshadow tutorial because I never ever wear green. But I have used the blue which is one of the most vibrant ones which I love and all the rest are definitely my kind of shades. Again they're super pigmented, really really nice for a reasonable price as well. I haven't really tried out Morphe that much. I know they do have a UK website now so I'm definitely going to try some more palettes from them because the eyeshadow quality of these is really nice. My favourite drugstore foundation from 2017 which is not a new product at all but I think I probably use this most out of all my foundations and that is the Rimmel Wake Me Up. I absolutely love this foundation. I think this is slowly overtaking the L'Oreal True Match because I never pick that up anymore. I always pick this up instead. It's quite a medium to full coverage. It's definitely buildable, but you can't really tell. Like, it doesn't look cakey or anything on the skin. And for a drugstore foundation as well, that is really good. It has more of, like, a luminous finish to it. So if you've got more oilier skin, you may not like this. But for more dry skin like me, this is so nice. I wear this for every day and for night time as well. I do build it up a little bit more for night time. But yeah, I think this is one 
of my all-time favourite foundations, not just drugstore, but against some of my high-end ones. This I just absolutely love. It's definitely one of my favourites. And again, I use this in a lot of my tutorials as well because I really like the coverage. So yeah, Rimmel Wake Me Up has surpassed, surpassed the right word, has taken over the L'Oreal True Match, which was my ride or die. This is now my ride or die. But moving on to more glitter, a little dupe for the Heavy Metals Glitter from Omen Decay are definitely these Glam Crystals and I wanted to mention these as well because I know you're all going to be doing like Christmas party makeup and New Year's Eve makeup and things like that and these glitter liners are just absolutely amazing. These are super super inexpensive, I use the shade glitz in the glam crystals all the time which is the more silver one i have got the gold one but it is in my freelance kit and they're just such an amazing way to add glitter to your makeup without using an actual loose glitter or pigment and getting all messy they're just amazing and i just i just love glitter <laughs> i can't help myself i just love glitter and i like products which add emphasis which are easy to use these are super easy to use and they're really inexpensive as well. This next product I think I've maybe had since before Christmas last year as well. I'm not sure, but I know over this year I've used it absolutely constantly. And that is the Milani Baked Bronzer in Glow. I think there are not many tutorials which I haven't used this. It's just a really nice illuminating bronzer. I've got it on today because I am more fair skinned. So I haven't used an actual bronzer. I've just used this and it is quite a more sheer one, but it has got a nice glow to it. And then when I am more tanned, I'll use a little bit more of this and it'll give me like more of like a highlighted effect. It's just really, really pretty. Milani is a brand which I'm definitely trying a lot more of. I recently bought their foundation. I've got it on today and it's really, really nice. I did a review and first impressions on that one as well if you want to watch that. But yeah, it's just a really inexpensive brand, but I like illuminating products because obviously I have got more dry skin. I think if you are just getting into makeup and just testing the water and things like that, these sorts of products are perfect for you because they're not too intense, they are quite sheer and you can't really apply too much of it. Even if I do wear a different bronze, I always add this over the top. And I think I have probably mentioned this in more favourites and things like that, but it's definitely one of my most used products this year. There are a couple of lipsticks which I have used a lot this year. Some I've only recently got but I do really like. The first ones are, which I've had the longest, are the Rimmel The Only One Matte Lip, lip Lipsticks. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, honestly if you get to the end of this video with me, I salute you. I do wear these a lot, I really like the consistency. The formula is super, super matte, which I don't always find in an actual lipstick, which claims to be matte. Usually they're not, whereas these are super matte, but they're very comfortable as well. So if you don't want to wear a liquid lipstick, maybe like for the daytime, like me, then I would wear something like this. So my favourite colours are High Flyer, Trendsetter and Salute, which is all the nudes. Next are some liquid lipsticks, which have been new to me this year as well. A new brand as well, which is Me 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 Cosmetics, which I do really, really like. Their matte liquid lipsticks are beautiful. The one that I'm wearing today is the shade number one. And I wear the nude shade all the time, which is number five. I absolutely love the colour of this one. They are super comfortable as well. I did an all brand tutorial using Me 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 Cosmetics, which I'll leave again down in the description box. But yeah, the liquid lipsticks are really, really nice. The others are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, which again, I know have been out for ages. Everyone's probably got one of these in their collection, but I've only really recently been introduced to them and I really, really like them. These two colours I've been wearing quite a lot. They are Stockholm, which is this one, and this more darker one is called Rome. I've used these in tutorials recently as well. I really, really like them. Again, they're super comfortable. I love a matte liquid lipstick, but it has to be comfortable to wear because I don't like it when they start flaking off and things like that. It's just not good. We are second to last now. The last two products are actually from the same brand as well. The first product is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And this, I honestly could not live without now. I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz all the time, which I do absolutely love. But this is like less than half the price now and it works the exact same. It's absolutely amazing. I love really thin brow pencils like this because I feel like I can shape them and fill them in with this as well. It's super precise, the pencil is really pigmented, super easy to use. I use the shade Chocolate and I do use these in my kit as well. I absolutely love them. 
I could not live without this brow pencil. And then my very last product again is from NYX and it's this which I did only recently get sent. It's the 3 Steps to Sculpt little contour palette and this banana shade especially is like my all time favourite thing. I do have other like contour palettes with the banana shade in but none of the other ones in those palettes I actually notice a difference when using but I do with this one. It really does brighten my under. I absolutely love it. The highlight shade I don't use that often because it is more of like a sheer highlight. It's not like a blinding one which I do prefer. The contour shade again I use all the time. I absolutely love them. Both of those two are super, super pigmented. The pan size is really big. NYX, I think, is probably one of my favourite brands from 2017. I've got to use a lot of their products. They are a lot more accessible in the UK now, especially like in boots and things like that. And I just really, really do like their products. So that was finally my best of beauty 2017. All of my favourites for this year. If you've gotten to the end of this video with me, then you are amazing because... I don't know how long this is going to be to edit and I really hope that you all have an amazing Christmas and New Year even though I will probably see you before then anyway and if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe as well especially if you've made it to the end and I will see you in my next one. Bye!